Lauren Greenfield's documentary, The Kingmaker, premiered in the Philippines on January 29 at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. It's the very same building founded by the controversial figure at the center of the film, Imelda Marcos. Imelda, wife of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos, founded the CCP in 1966. Traces of her influence still linger in the building. Just a few weeks before The Kingmaker premiered, Imelda was honored by the institution as its founding chairman at a formal dinner. But at a panel following a matinee screening of the film, art scholar and curator Marian Pastor Roses questions the idea of Marcos as a patron of culture and the arts. Hindi naman culture talaga na you know art and culture in the um, in the professional sense of these words. I mean, not in the general sense of these words. Imelda never never represented that. As you can see in the film, she represented what was gauche, what was really awful, what was not beautiful. I mean, kita naman ninyo yung suot niya, maganda ba yun? Hindi na ba? Hindi no, papasabay yun sa, papasabay yun sa Paris. Pastor Rosa says, while people may see the CCP and its arts programs as Imelda's initiative, it was not just her who pushed for it. She had nothing to do with culture. Um, as a matter of fact, now she built this thing. All right, but did she build this thing? There were a lot of people who were uh, wanting to have a cultural center nung panahon niya. You know, people like Leandro Loxin, they, they preceded her in thinking about such a cultural center. There were a number of, of forces in the 1960s that were wanting to build a cultural center. So yung formula na may patron, hindi na yan tama o sapat para sa art. Yon. So parang... The Kingmaker takes a critical look at Imelda Marcos. I was always criticized for being excessive, but that is mothering. The former First Lady is known for her extravagance even as millions of Filipinos suffered from poverty and human rights abuses. In 2018, the Philippines Anti-Graft Court found her guilty of graft. The film was shown in several screenings attended by hundreds, including students, politicians, and survivors of martial law featured in the film. The CCP is just one illustration of how the ghosts of the Marcos dictatorship continue to linger in Philippine society. But as it continues to make space for art and artists that aim to speak the truth, the institution may perhaps come out of Marcos's shadow. Amanda Lago Rappler, Manila.